Today I'm finna show you how to do a, a extremely creamy, over the top mac and cheese. And guess what folks, it's right out of this cookbook. Let's get it. Okay, before we get started, look, I already brought my water up to, you know, to a boil, right? What I wanna do is I just wanna cook these al dente style. Now what you wanna do is you wanna set up your oven. Look, it's 325 degrees, folks. That's what we use. You're gonna get one pound, and this is a two pound block. I just wanna do half of it. Is Monterey Jack going? Now I'll go ahead and start with this cheese, right? Okay, so look, now that we didn't shredded some cheese, right? I'm gonna go ahead and start with my butter. One thing I can tell you, listen, I didn't say nothing this time. You guys can put butter, I mean, uh, bacon fat in there. So I just put a couple of tablespoons of bacon fat and then probably put one tablespoon of butter. That works, you know, either or. I don't have any ta uh, bacon fat right now, so I went ahead and used butter. So let me get this melted. And what we get ready to do is we get ready to make a roux. Okay, now that it's melted, now we're gonna start and come in with our, you know, our flour, right? So I just add a little bit in. Remember, a little bit in at a time, folks. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm cooking that raw flour taste out, right? So once we got it, you know, the raw flour uh, uh, taste taken out, I figure it takes about like one minute or whatever. Then we go ahead and start adding, you know, our milk. So once you see how it starts to look like this, then I go ahead and add my second cup, right? We just put it in a little bit at a time. Best to do it like this, because it's gonna thicken up once we start adding the cheese, right? This right here is gonna be a nice cheese sauce. Oh, and did I say it's gonna be a creamy mac and cheese? Okay, so now that we got that incorporated, look, now I'm gonna go ahead and just start introducing my cheese. I put it in, there's no particular way you gotta put it in. You can go light, then dark. You can go all light, all dark. It doesn't make a difference. You just want to get it in there and you want to make sure it incorporates, right? So check it out. You just want to keep it moving, just like you see. Right? Just keep working it, keep whisking it. As it heats up, it'll just dissipate. You're going to get your color from this cheddar. All right, so look, once you get it all together, look at that right there. This is your cheese sauce, folks. Okay, so look, now this is the real level up, folks. It's the Creole kick. This is the flavor that just sends it over the top. Mix it like this, make sure it's throughout. Listen, we didn't already sampled it and know it's great right here at this stage, but we wanna put this over the top and then we are gonna bake it, right? So I'll come with that Monterey right over the top like this. You don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit of that Monterey and then we are gonna top a little bit. You know what, we're gonna put that last top in the cheese. That's gonna be that cheddar. This is what's gonna give it that color again, folks. I want you guys to let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I want you guys to become part of the fan base of this mac and cheese. Okay, so look, this is what it looks like. It's ready to go, right? All I gotta do is put a piece of aluminum foil over the top, put it in our preheated oven at 325 degrees. We're gonna go 25 minutes, real simple. And here you go, folks. Put that there like that. Bring this over here like this, and that's that million dollar right there. All right, so you guys see what it looked like. You know, it, it matches that, and then look, when you look at this right here, that's because I left it in the oven longer, right? So if you wanted to have more of a dark texture, more like that, just leave it in there uncovered and cook it longer. When I say cheese and creamy, that's what I mean, folks. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, cheers.
hey, I just want to say thank you for you, know, you guys watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.